you would see the email comes up like email is protected and nothing came up here as well so I came up to the network tab I refreshed the page again and I just searched for email right over here and I found this JS code in which it said the email decode so I knew that something was going on right over here so I just copied the URL hi so a while ago I bypassed the email encryption of Cloudflare and I wanted to share the story with you let's go and explore how I did it so I received this message on Fiverr that a client needed a web scrapper for this website he needed to create a range of numbers in between these numbers and then make a request one by one to the website and get this data these old fields from the website so the first thing i did was i created a proposal using chat gpt i just pasted his entire request and then i want to create a proposal chat gpt can you help me so it created a proposal and i sent it the client replied that he's interested in working with me and i instantly got started with creating the web scrapper so the first thing i did was i pasted the entire description and i said i need the code for it so chat gpt created the entire code I just copy and pasted the code into a file and I tested it and I made some changes to it and I did everything it started working you know anyway I got stuck somewhere and I again asked from chat GPT how can I get the href from this so it provided me the solution here's a solution that I can get the href from anchor tag anyway once I got that I then pasted the HTML right over here and I said this is some HTML I have in the variable provide me some code that I can get the fields so these are the fields that the client requested and I just pasted it in the chat GPT and I wanted to get everything from it the chat GPT field I created another chat so I said hey chat I have this code can you check out and let me know if you have missed something so I wanted to add the checks like at this point I created everything everything was working fine it was returning data so I just wanted to have the code check if I missed some if conditions or stuff like that or if there is some edge point that I have missed once I was sure that everything was fine with the code and everything I just submitted the web scrapper to the client and he checked the last thing he returned was like the email was coming like this I came over here to the website you know so if you open up the website it would look something like that and if you copy a number and that exists it would come up like this and when you click on it it will go to the single page so here you can see the email but when I scrap the email and let me run the program and show it to you as well you would see the email comes up like email is protected when I check the file in the file the email was protected as well this was a problem we were unable to get the emails what I did was I just came over to the website and just inspected the email like this and you know we have the email perfectly fine it's getting shown up anyway I just searched for email and I just wanted to check what comes up but nothing came up I said let's search for email protected and nothing came up here as well so I came up to the network tab I refreshed the page again and I just searched for email right over here and I found this JS code in which it said the email decode so I knew that something was going on right over here so I just copied the URL of the JavaScript file and it gave me the code of JavaScript so the first thing I did was I came over to my browser and searched for beautify.js and I just came over to the online JavaScript beautifier and I just beautified the JS by pasting it and clicking on beautify it gave me a little bit clearer JavaScript because this was you know more congested and very difficult to understand anyway I still didn't understood what was going on so I came over to the chat GPT and I pasted the code right over here in the chat GPT so the chat GPT provided me explanation that the provided JavaScript code is used to decrypt an email address obfuscated using Cloudflare I understood so I said give me the same thing in Python so I can decrypt the email provided me you know some functions but these were literally not working I tried again it gave me again the result but it was not working again I tried and tried but nothing was working so I decided not to go that route and what I did was I came over to the Python first grab the email like I came over to the JavaScript and in the JavaScript here you can see we have this href that it's looking for and we also have this thing it's looking for I just came over to my Python and I just grabbed 
this object from the HTML. When I grabbed this, what I did was I created another function and said if the email is not none, like in some cases the email would be none. So I said if the email is not none, I want to grab the, let's print that out as well so that we can see what's going on once we grab this object. So you can use ChatGPT, you know, but in some cases you would have to manually debug stuff because ChatGPT cannot debug the code for you. So it would just provide the help you need. You can see when I print the object, it comes up like this. So my next job was to get this code from the href and I did it saying, you know, from the email, I want to get this data object. And once I get this, I want to pass it to the function. And in that function, what I'm doing is I'm just encoding it. This was a code provided to me by on Stack Overflow by someone. I just wrote down this code and provided the encoded string to it. And what it did was it just decrypted the email. I didn't pass it to variable, but instead I came over here and I said, you know, let's print out what the function returns. So once I ran the program, you can see that we have decoded email and I can verify that by coming over to online browser. So this is how I bypass the Cloudflare encryption. Once the email was decrypted, I just added some checks to make sure that the email should be the email that we decoded and some other checks, you know, for this was for the client he requested. Anyway, once everything was done and I was sure that everything is working, I ran the program again and you can see we have the decoded email. At this point, everything was working. The client was happy. The data was coming to the CSV file and everything was okay. So this is a story that I wanted to share with you, how I bypassed the Cloudflare. Just for the sake of security purpose and ethical purpose, I try to contact this website, but you can see they don't have any contact details. Like you can come over to the footer. They don't have anything in the menus. They don't have any anything for contact. They have this telegram. But when you click on it, it uh, doesn't do anything. It comes up with secure connection field or stuff like that. So nothing was working. That's why I was unable to contact this website in order to report this issue. I'm unable, you know, if you can contact, if you know this website, or if you know how to contact them, you can just contact them and let them know uh, this is the issue with the, uh, their website, like the email encryption that uh, they did uh, in order to stop web scrappers can be bypassed and stuff like that. So this is my story, how I bypass the Cloudflare encryption. If you have something, leave it in the comments down below. If you have some suggestions of stuff like that, if you did some similar thing, also share a video or, or anything with me. I would uh, really enjoy it. Have a pleasant day, bye for now, and I will see you in the next video.